How's it hanging? I'm Ola Tides, and today I'm going to show you how to fix and improve highway traffic in City Skylines 2. So, without further ado, let's get on to tip number one. The first tip is to have more than one highway entrance into your city. This is going to help disperse traffic more evenly into your city, instead of it all coming in and out from one highway connection, ultimately causing traffic problems. Tip 2 is to try running highways through or around your city. By having it running through or around your city, with a few connections here and there, you are again going to really help disperse traffic more evenly into your city, helping them get to their destinations faster. Number three is to adjust any highways and interchanges so that they have turning lanes. This should improve highway traffic by reducing the chances of any last minute lane changes or turns, which usually causes clogs and blocks. To do this, just upgrade the highway with an extra lane before a turning and after a joining. If the road or lanes are not in line with the rest of the highway, then just go to the road upgrade and turn off all snapping options, and you'll now be able to move the road freely to line it back up. If you want your new extra lanes to only extend so far, then whilst on roads, just double left click on the point of the road that you want the lane to extend up to. Doing this will create a road node so that you can now remove a lane from the point at which you created the node. Tip 4 is to try being a little more confident and creative in building some custom junctions and interchanges. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just try adding a few dedicated turning lanes and roads linking into your city. Even if it's just an extra way in or out, it's good to have multiple options for traffic to take to get back on or off the highway, instead of just using one or two, which uh, you'll definitely find traffic problems with at some point. Five is to avoid junctions too close to any interchanges. Having junctions too close to an interchange is going to slow and stop traffic that's coming into your city, which will eventually cause tailbacks onto your highway. So try and avoid any junctions straight away, just keep the road or roads going uninterrupted for a while. And when you do have your first junction coming off your interchange, it's best that it's something traffic flow friendly, like a few one-way roads breaking off or a large roundabout. Six is to use the no turning signs to help improve your highway traffic. But you'll need to make sure the traffic that is no longer able to go the direction they need to has an alternative route, otherwise you'll make traffic issues worse. So, for example here on this highway, a lot of this traffic is wanting to continue on and holding up a lot of the other roads. So I'm going to place a no going straight sign and build an alternative route. So now that traffic that wanted to go straight can just go up over that bridge and rejoin the highway. And I'm also going to do the same on the right here to avoid having that traffic needing to cross over the oncoming traffic. Again, take note on how I've added an extra lane to the roads before and after the turnings for going on and off the bridge. Perfecting this lane math is what really helps to get the best traffic flow possible. And tip number seven is to check out district and city policies. At the time of recording this video, there is only one city policy that will affect highways but there may be more added in future updates or DLCs, so make sure to read through them all to see what each one can do. But the only one that is helpful to highways at the moment is the High Speed Highways policy. This removes all highway speed limits so the traffic can flow faster. 
But it's good to keep in mind that this also increases noise pollution and traffic accidents. Thank you very much for watching. If you did find the video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more helpful videos like this. Hopefully, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!